Hello, on this video I want to show how to create a second controller, then create a view and change the startup file so we can load that view from that controller. So here I have the project from the past video. And if you look at the controller folders, I have one controller only. So I'm going to right click on this folder and add new item and then look for controller. And I'm going to name this controller Grievous Controller. Click on Add. And here's my controller. Now, on the Views folder, I need to create a folder with the name Grievous as well. So I'm going to right click, add a new folder, and I'm going to name it Grievous. Now, the spelling must be exactly the same as a controller, minus the word controller here. The Grievous folder is empty for now, but let's create a view inside this folder. I can come here to the controller, right click, and then add a view. And I am not going to use a layout page, and I'm going to click on add. And Visual Studio created a index view for me. So if I run this program now, the index from the home controller is going to load. But now I want the index of the Grievous controller to load first. And for that, I need to change the startup file. So I'm going to double click. And if you go right here on the bottom, and the default route decides what's going to be loaded first. So instead of home, I'm going to put Grievous as the controller. And the action, I'm going to leave as index. And the reason I'm going to leave as index is because inside my Grievous folder, I do have a view called index. So back to the index, right here in the body. And now I can run this program. And the index view from the Grievous control loads first. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. This is easy and you can do it.